Hello everyone. So, uh, if you know, last night the 8.0 patch for Smash came out, along with the patch notes, so I wanted to video explain my thoughts on all the new characters. Right? Or sorry, all the characters that were changed anyway. Pretty much every character down here has either not changed at all or has changed a final smash or something that didn't really matter. Um then echoes. So going down here. First thing we have is Kirby. So Kirby buffs. We got dash attack. Pretty much. Dash attack is stronger. Down smash is faster and stronger. Forward air is does more damage and is stronger at the end. Back air is stronger. And down B, which is like the rock thing, is a little bit stronger. So I think Kirby is okay. I put him in a slight buff. I, I don't think, like, I think back air is a good change, but like who's using Kirby dash stack? Uh, down smash is good. Back air is good. Forward air, um, it only increases second and third hit, and you really only ever see Kirby's doing like fair one up smash, fair one up smash. Maybe fair two, but you very rarely see fair three on purpose. And stone shouldn't change anything, like real meta, my opinion at least. Next we have Captain Falcon. So his dash attack has less lag, making it easier to combo off of. His down tilt is stronger, which is a good change. His up smash actually connects, I'm pretty sure. Because, oh, extended launch distance. It got, it got buffs, but it didn't get fixed. So, uh, Falcon's up smash doesn't connect very well. Um, but apparently it's stronger now. So if it does connect, then you got that going for you. They changed Falcon's side beat, which is Raptor Boost. Uh, I used to despise Raptor Boost, but I've, I've played a little bit with it. Um, and the new Raptor Boost changes are actually pretty pretty good for me as somebody who despises Falcon. Um, so the Raptor Boost angle went from sending like up and forward a little bit to sending directly up, and if they DI in, it actually sends backwards. That's so probably pretty bad for Falcon mains in general, but I like the change. Um, and Falcon down B, increased speed and launch distance. So Falcon kick is stronger. It doesn't say whether it's in the air or on the ground, so I'm assuming both. But that was pretty rarely used as is. I put that under slight as well. Uh, next we have Puff, I see Sheik. So Sheik, really her only change was that they made her forward smash connect a little better. So I'm just gonna put her down here. And I avoided putting the final smash characters and the, I think, Banjo had a get up attack change or something like that. Like, I avoided most of it. Um, next is Falco, who I personally think is the most benefited in this entire uh, patch. So, Falco. Uh, I, I played against a lot of Falco last night. But Falco has a stronger down tilt, increased speed and angle. So, um, I've been hit by Nair Down Tilt, which seems to be true, I could be wrong, but like falling Nair Down Tilt is a true kill confirm at like 120, like, as the characters I was playing as, so like Or and Diddy Kong, which we will get into later. Up Smash. Up Smash, uh, I've, uh, up Smash is really bad actually, so Up Smash is pretty good now. It's, it's a little, little bigger than I want it to be, but it's alright. Um, Back of Nair, increased speed of uh, the last attack, and I'm pretty sure what that means is they're trying to preemptively like stop you from drag down Nairing, but it it doesn't matter if the last hit is affected if you never go for the last hit, as, as, at least from what I can tell. Uh, next we have Down Air, so Down Air has less lag, has less end lag and less landing lag, and Down Air was already safe on Ivy's shield, which doesn't mean a whole lot because grab his frame 13, but um, I was probably going to be safe on a lot of other people's shields, like I've seen downer jabs, a character now has some decent shield pressure, like better shield pressure. The last switch was to side B, 
So increase the amount of hit time, hit detection is out, and increase the attack speed when used on the ground. So I don't know if you guys have seen this, but down throw side B as Falco seems to work now. I had never heard of that until last night, but apparently that works pretty well. So I personally think Falco is the biggest winner of this patch. Uh, that could just be me. We're going to another another winner. Um, we got Marth. So Marth down smash has a bigger tipper, which really doesn't seem to mean a whole lot to me. I don't see anyone using down smash anyway. Um, forward air. Forward air made it easier to hit the high damage rate. So basically, it means that the tipper is easier to hit for Mars forward air, back air, and up air. Now this isn't the whole sword, which is, is kind of redundant because Lucina is down here. But it's it's a quite a bit bigger. I would say it's noticeable. Um, I don't notice up air as much, but I definitely notice forward air and back air. So I would say he's, he's pretty... I wouldn't call him big wins because he still has trouble on the ground, but having those changed, like, pretty much your only aerials you're using in neutral, aside from, like, maybe Nair if you want to be cool, but Nair's, Nair Tipper was big enough anyway, in my opinion at least. Going on, next we have Me nope. next we have Mewtwo. So Mewtwo got buffed again, so back air seems to be stronger, uh, though the weak hit of back air is like the tip of the tail. Not the base. Uh, Mewtwo down throw has reduced the lag, and I saw some stuff on Twitter with like down throw fair, but apparently you can DI that down and air, like down and away and air dodge, and then it just doesn't work past like 80. So Mewtwo seems to be pretty good. <clears throat> um, next we have neutral special, which is increased attack power when not char uh, when not charged. So basically, like, like throwing a half charged shadow ball will just do more damage. And it has reduced the lag, which is nice. Uh, Mewtwo up B, basically, if you've seen Palu up B, basically when you land, it just will have less lag. Mewtwo didn't have a whole lot of lag to begin with, but I guess it's better. I haven't seen that, so like in comparison at least. So I'm gonna throw Mewtwo in the same tier that I threw Marth in. I think he's quite a bit better, but I don't think anything is like game changing. Uh, next is Meta Knight. So their attack range increased. So Meta Knight's pretty stubby. He has a sword, but he has the smallest sword in the game, I'm pretty sure. And he's he's hardly a ranged unit. Unit. Hardly a ranged character. Um, so air is bigger. Forward air reduced vulnerability and easier to hit multiple times. So I've, I've seen a couple things. I've seen Air 1 up smash work, and I've also seen people complain that landing fair doesn't work very well. Um, so I've, I've seen plenty of different things for that. Back here made it easier to hit multiple times. So that doesn't change a whole lot. I don't think at least. I saw somebody do back air one down smash and kill like absurdly low. But I don't see how that would change a whole lot from uh, from this patch to, uh, from last patch to this patch, because it just says easier to hit multiple times. Um, Mennonite Neutral Special made it easier to hit the high damage or uh, high damage. So that means Tornado has a longer sweet spot. I'm pretty sure it was long, it was pretty long already, but the sour spot was horrible, and I guess they want to keep that, so they're making the sweet spot last for longer, which is... Lastly, Mennonite Up B. So they changed. They made it easier to hit multiple times. Adjusted the launch angle of the first hit and increased the attack range. Second hit, which is basically just going into easier to hit multiple times. But I think Meta Knight was like barely, like I put him in here. Oh, these aren't ordered yet, at least. <clears throat> uh, I think Meta Knight got some decent changes. I don't think he got buff buffed, but he should be a tiny bit better. Okay, next we have Pit, and I think Pit is another really big winner. So, Pit down tilt attack. They shortened the launch distance and the angle. So, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but Pit can now get down tilt into up air kill confirm at like 110, 120. Uh, speaking of up air, up air increased attack speed, increased launch, uh, adjusted launch angle. 
extended the distance of what the lost attack. So basically, oh, and reduced reduce lag. So they made up air better in about every way you can. Just made up air really, really, really good. Like down tilt, adjusted, uh, sorry. Up smash, extended the launch distance of the final attack. And for down smash, they adjust the angle. I don't remember Pit's angle exactly, but we will see. Attack when getting up. I'm pretty sure that's after a trip and not like a ledge get up. But it says vulnerability for attacking when getting up now aligned. Yeah, that's like nothing. Down B. So down B seems to have re uh, reduced vulnerability, which basically means like you have less lag when after you put out the shields. So I, th I put Pit up here. I don't think he's quite as good as Falco, but I think he should be a lot better. And I this isn't a, like a tier list based on like, oh, I think uh, Marth is better than Falcon. And he probably is, but I'm, I'm not saying like, Marth is two tiers above Sheik. I'm just saying like how much they've been changed. But I, obviously I don't put Pit over any of these characters. Just how much they were affected and to what degree. Uh, we have Dark Pit getting the exact same buffs. Uh, next is Ike, and I've seen so many different things about Ike. So, first thing, dash attack, extended launch distance. This move is already super strong, so I'm not too sure why this was a thing. A uh, down tilt attack, shorten the launch distance, so you can get down tilt fair, fair for a pretty long time. <clears throat> Speaking of fair, uh, reduced vulnerability, and maintain the launch. So basically it just has less lag and does more damage. Um, next is neutral air, and this is where people are getting confused, I think. So neutral air, it says extended launch distance and reduced the low damage range. I played around a little bit with Ike last night, and the, the nair, it, 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 yeah, it definitely is stronger. But if you can manage to get all the way up there, like if you can get in there at like 60, and if you can get up there for the upper, like on a platform or something, it's still gonna kill. It's probably gonna kill earlier because Nair is sending so high. But I feel like on the like on the ground, like without a platform, it probably it might not confirm as high at least. I think they want Nair upper to still exist, but they want it to be less common. And less fished for because everybody's playing against that one eye player that just jumps forward and air, jumps back in air, so on and so forth. Um, next is up B, and this I don't know if this was intentional, but up B is super good now. So up B made it so that the first attack, I don't really know what this means. It says made it so the first attack upward does not get neutralized. I'm not sure what that's meant to mean. Uh, next, this is extended launch distance of the final attack and adjusted launch angle. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen the, the brand new Ike thing, but I've seen Air into Uppy kill like 80. So basically the Uppy hit, I think they kind of broke it. It will kill like cross, they will kill from center at like 110. Like they made that move super strong, and I'm pretty sure it scales really well with Rage. So I put Ike under. Um, yes, it. So I think Ike got buffed a lot, and then the Nair, the Nair nerf. So I put him under slight buffs overall. Oops. Slight buff overall, but uh, the Nair kind of hurts, I think. Okay. Next is Diddy Kong, which I was really excited about. So Diddy Kong, we have a dash attack. Dash attack, just easier to hit multiple times, and I think the last attack is bigger. It doesn't change a whole lot. He was getting dash attack pretty consistently anyway. I haven't really seen people follow a dash attack in general. Next is forward tilt. Increase the attack range near the hands. I'm not entirely sure what that means. I don't really use forward tilt on purpose at all. I feel like maybe if a Krom is there and I don't want to do something risky, I just want to hope. But yeah, Diddy Kong forward tilt doesn't really matter. Down smash increased the speed. And what's crazy to me is I looked this up earlier. Diddy Kong's down smash was like frame. I think it was frame 9 or 10. 
It was really, really fast. And Diddy Kong down smash is like instant now. And he already had the fastest smash attack in the game because his up smash is frame five. Yeah, down smash was frame nine. So apparently it's gonna be even faster now, which is a little crazy to me. There's an increase to hit detection of the second attack. So I guess it's more active. Diddy Kong forward air increased the attack range at the beginning of the attack. Uh, I saw the new hitbox. It doesn't look too different, honestly. It doesn't feel too different, at least. Um, you can still get like rising fair at a shield as like against the same characters as before. It doesn't feel all too different. And finally, they kind of they took away Diddy's infinite, from what I can tell. I haven't seen anybody try it. So it says extended the time that banana peel can be uh, extended, uh, extended time until banana peel can be thrown again after it has initially been thrown, which is basically just the pluck banana grab immediately. So that's the infinite. So it sounds like they tried to take that out. I'm not sure how successful they were. I haven't seen any Diddy Kong thing, but I don't think that's a too big of a nerf. I think like. You can probably count all the people that can actually do the infinite on one hand. But aside from that, he got buffed, so I, I like it quite a bit. I put him under slight as well. Going forward, we have King Dedede. So Dedede got up tilt attack power increase. And, uh, ended power. I know, right? Alright, launch. Okay. So it does more damage and it does more knockback. Down tilt has a different angle. I haven't seen that. Forward air. Forward air is stronger, so people get down through forward air. I don't think it's true, but it definitely does damage. And now it'll get them more upstage, and then DDD can use Gordo to like edge guard and so on. <clears throat> and then, of course, forward air edge guards will be killing earlier off the side. Next, we have up air. It says extended launch distance of the final attack, and I've seen this. This is strong. Uh, DDD up air used to kill around 130, if you DI properly, maybe 140, and now I think I died at like 105 last night, like super died, so it, I'd say it's a pretty good buff. Uh, neutral special says increase the speed and increase the range on the ground. So, but basically, it wants to it wants uh, DDD's inhale to be bigger, but they don't want to increase. They don't want to buff uh, like the DDD suicide thing, like where you just uh, inhale them, go off stage, and then you you recover, but they don't. I think they didn't want to buff that, but they wanted to uh, just make inhale a little bit better. So I would put DDD under. I feel like he's barely in decent buffs, but upper. Up air and forward air are pretty good. I feel like up tilt, up, uh, up tilt being stronger helps him quite a bit. Okay, next we have Villager. Villager got a ton of buffs. Um, his jab, they made it easier to hit multiple times. I don't know how bad it was before, but I guess that's good now. Um, up tilt. So they made up tilt easier to hit multiple times, which is just making it combo better I guess. And then they added armor to the head and the arm. So that's a pretty good change. Uh, next is up smash. They increase the power of the fireworks, which is damage. Increase the launch distance. That's pretty good. Uh, for up air and down air, sorry, for up air they increase the launch distance and for down air they increase the speed. Excuse me. And for down, down special, which is the whole pre process. So it says reduced vulnerability when planting a seed, so that means it has less lag. It has less lag when watering. Has extended distance by extended launch distance of the axe hit. And increased power against shields when attacking with the axe. So I guess they, they really tried to make Villager down be pretty good. I would say he's up here with Pit and Falco. He seems to be a lot better. Uh, I think the up air is going to help the most, probably, and up tilt being invisible is pretty big. Actually, Magnum Mag Mag doesn't matter. We Fit. We Fit Trainer got some pretty, pretty alright thing. They fixed the launch angle of down tilt. Maybe it sends more out. 
Bounce up wasn't very good, it's kind of slow. Uh, up smash increased the attack speed. So basically, I don't really ever use up smash unless I'm below somebody on a platform or if I bury someone with jab and I don't think they're mashing. So I guess this will help a little bit, but we fit doesn't really get a whole lot of up for up smash anyway. A down smash reduced vulnerability, so down smash has less lag. I don't think that's changing a ton anyway. We uh, fit forward air, reduced vulnerability and landing. Sorry, reduced uh, lag and the air and landing lag. That's really like I'm pretty sure she can do two fairs out of short hop now. Like she gets a lot off that fair now. Granted, like it's not the best move. The hitboxes are up and up, like in front and above her, and down, like behind and below her. It's a, it's a weird hitbox, but I guess it's faster now, or uh, has less like uh, Rose looks better. Mac got like changed not early. Fixes get up attack. Lots of things don't matter. Coring. This is one that I was very so like. I like that we fit under slight. Um, boring. So they increase the power of her forward smash tipper, which doesn't change a whole lot. I guess it's a little bit better for like you charge it at roll distance, and if people stand on the ledge, you hit them. I guess that becomes a little bit, little bit more prominent. Forward air increased the uh, launch distance and power. So power is damage. So forward air, I, I think I saw this on Twitter. It did 7.5 before. This is in multi-mans. 7.5 before and now it does 10, which is crazy to me. Uh, back air. So back air, they increased the damage when hitting with the beginning of the move. I think the beginning is tipper. I could be wrong. Um. And then extended launch distance when hitting the beginning of these. Yeah, I think these are both tippers because coins and backers are pretty fast for what it is. I guess I guess it's more like sweet spot timing rather than tipper. But yeah, coins backer got buffed. Seems to be a different angle and more and more damage. Corn upper increased power and launch distance, which is really good. This coin had an air up there if they be either wrong, but it didn't kill until like 140. <laughs> uh, next is side beat, and I think this is probably uh, definitely the biggest change to her. So it reduced the vulnerability, so it reduced the uh, lag in general of, of pin. So you can full hop pin and then double jump out of it, which is brand new and it's really good for movement. Um. Extended the launch distance of the kick at the beginning of the attack. So basically, um, if you don't know how pin works, there's two kicks. After you pin, you can kick forward or you can kick backwards. If you kick forwards and they get hit by it, it's usually the sweet spot. And that part got buffed. If they're behind you and you missed the pin, basically. If you miss a pin, but you, you can still kick them, but it's probably not going to connect. Um, because you, you can jump out of it now, which uh, in, in, I say now in this game, or you can cancel it with down, which you couldn't do in Smash Four. Um, so that's that's a bit better, and there's reduced vulnerability when jumping after stab. So I guess jumping out of out of like when you're pinned in the ground and you can jump out of it, you just have less like cooldown, I guess. Okay, so I put I put corn, probably either slight or or bigger. I don't I don't know exactly. I might put her bigger, but those are those are pretty big buffs. Probably gonna put her up here. I think corn super one. Next is Bayo. Bayo's four to three has less lag. I don't really know why they made it have less lag, but why they didn't make it connect because that move super doesn't work. Uh, next is up tilt, and this made me very happy. So it is now faster, now easier to hit multiple times because that was a big problem. People fly out of that move all the time. Increased attack range of the last hit, so it's bigger now. So it'll be even harder to get out of it, or even 
That's the word. It's just hard to mess up, I guess. Um. Yeah. Uh, increase the amount of time hit detection lasts. So it's basically more active as well. So it's bigger, more active, faster, and, and combos better. Or combos into itself, rather. Side smash. So it says increase the amount of launch distance and increase the amount of time hit detection lasts. So usually forest smash used to be like super bad. You could get a wish time and cross stage it wouldn't kill until like 170. Forest smash was pretty bad. So it seems to be quite a bit stronger now. Um, side special. Reduced vulnerability when on the ground. So that's heal slide. Has reduced lag and reduced vulnerability when kicking upward, which is can't tell if that's in the air or if that's the the second hit of heal slide. I'm pretty sure it's the second hit of heal slide because I saw something about heal slide back air being a thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, and Bayo up special shorten the uh, shorten the distance in which opponents can move with the hit stun shuffling when repeatedly hit. So that's SDI. Um, they pre they. They buffed SDI, or sorry, they nerfed SDI in general, so Bayo got a little bit better with that, uh, just from Smash 4 to Ultimate. So, that didn't, that wasn't a huge change in my opinion. Um, I don't think people were getting out of Uppy or getting very much alteration on Uppy as is. So I guess they made it a little more standard, because Switch Choice is like 4 or 5 hits. Um, and they changed Final Smash, which I don't care about. Um, i probably put her under Decent. They weren't bad. Up tilt's definitely nice. Uh, and apparently Heal Slide confirms into things now, and it's less laggy. Heal Slide used to be terrible. Okay. Um, really down special. Now it does more damage. Why? Um, I tested this a little bit yesterday with my friends, and it did 68 or 70 or something like that. It did way too much damage for one move. You get down throw down be there at like 80. Um, yeah, that was the only change to, Rid to Ridley. Excuse me. Um, that's pretty probably pretty fair. Probably pretty fair. Um, maybe he did it a little bit more, but I'm not sure how I feel about him. Uh, K rule. So K rule, so dash attack has increased power, launch distance, and they made the sweet spot detection more active. Okay. So sweet spot lasts for longer. K rule up smash increased the power, increased the launch distance, or extended the launch distance. So up smash is stronger for K rule. I don't know how many people were using that in general, but it seems to be stronger. Back throw is a different launch angle. I haven't seen K roll buffs. I like seeing how they work. Lead special made it hard to flinch from opponent's attack while throwing the crown. So this is just more armor, I think. I'm at least you sure how good armor was or how much it was changed. And lastly, K roll uh, is, um, is like belly armor as it has higher percent range now. Um, like I saw somebody get Warlock punched all down, like doing whatever taunt gives the armor. And he didn't get broken. I guess K rule is probably under a slight buff. So I don't think any of these changes were like major. Um, granted, I could be wrong. Um, Isabel. Isabel dash attack got faster, which didn't change a whole lot. Up tilt has reduced lag, which is kind of big. Up tilt's pretty good. Um, up smash increased attack speed. Up smash is already pretty quick. Um, next we have up air and down air. So she got the exact same buffs as villager, and the fact that up air is uh, is now stronger and down air I believe is faster. Yes, and that is all for Isabel. So Isabel, I, I want to say she's up here. She's pretty good now. So Isabel, let me check Isabel's up smash. 
Citadel of Smash used to be frame 11. So now it's faster, I guess, which is wild to me. Um, so we have Incineroar for up smash. Hold on. Did the thirty? Whoops. <laughs> My bad. So we have Incineroar. Extended launch distance on up smash. Granted, I haven't played against an Incineroar, but I've heard his buffs are pretty good. So Incineroar, up smash is now stronger. His grabs, so speed of grab, dash grab, and pivot grab are now bigger. Forward throw has extended launch distance. Forward throw always looked like a kill throw, but I don't think it ever did until like 150. But I guess that'll be stronger now. Uh, side special, which is the Lariat move. Increases speed of the grabs and extended launch distance after the, the strong hit, basically. That seems pretty good. Uh, Lariat, I don't think it needed to be stronger per se. But I guess it's kind of nice for Incineroar. It's kind of weird that they're buffing Incineroar by making his really good moves good and they're still having him be the slowest character in the game. Um, down special, which is Revenge. Uh, reduced vulnerability and increases the power up amount when a move succeeds. So they're making down B have less lag and um, by less lag and if you get hit by something then their revenge itself is stronger. Okay, sorry about that. So next up we have Piranha Plant. Plant, so we have up tilt has increased, or sorry, uh, adjust launch angle and increased speed. The up tilt wasn't that strong in general. Uh, maybe it'll combo better, I don't know what they changed. Uh, down smash is faster. Down smash is already like one of his relatively quick options for plant at least. Plant has relatively slow frame data. Uh, forward air, so forward air got faster. Just good, it went frame. 10 to I believe 7. And we said something about down throw fair being super good at like up to pretty high percents. Back air ended launch distance. So back air was already like super strong. But I guess that's stronger now. Didn't get faster or nothing like that, just, just got stronger. Back air was already like only used for reads. Uh, and we have Piranha Plant Up Air, which is increased power and extended the launch distance. And Piranha Plant, you never really see Up Air outside of like if somebody up throws and it doesn't kill, then you would like shark for Up Air or Potato or something to send them up at like 100. But I guess Up Air will be a little bit better now. I haven't seen it, but I would put Plant under. Uh, it's between slight and decent. They really didn't change back air, in my opinion. Uh, up air, up air and for that, eh, I guess that's, that's enough to be considered decent. Now I'm gonna order these. But I still think Falco is the biggest runner. I think Villager maybe a tiny bit of a pit. Those are pretty interchangeable. I'll just leave them in this order. Uh, this shouldn't be. Um. This is probably my order for decent buffs, light buffs. I would put Mennonite last, he didn't get changed a whole lot. But we fit up there. But Ike here, that he needs to be up a bit. Actually, he didn't get changed a whole lot, I just think he's good. Uh, K roll got changed a lot. Probably needs to be put down a little bit. And then. Ridley over Sheik. Um, these two are pretty interchangeable. They really only changed one move each. Really down beat doing more damage for some reason, and Sheik F Smash connecting. Whichever one of those you weigh more. I guess Sheik F Smash is used a little more than Ridley really down beat. But, yep, I will link the, uh, actually, uh, yeah, I'll probably, I'll link the, uh, the image in the description and the website I used, but 
if you want to see me play Smash Live or uh, I play with viewers, I play, I make YouTube videos sometimes, always happy to play. Um, but yeah, that is my opinion on the 8.0 patch, and with that, I will see you guys later.